Okay, so we're going to do linear regression on the TI-8384. We're going to find the linear regression line, we're going to find the residuals and compute the sum of the squared residuals, and we're going to make a plot of the data along with the least squares regression line. So the first step is to enter the data. We're going to go ahead and go into Stat, Edit, and put our X's in L1. Okay, now our X's are independent variable. They need to go into L1. And L2, we're going to put our dependent variable, so 82. 58, 53, 38, and 20. Okay, and take a look at them. They should be all matched up as a pair. So we can go ahead and quit out of here. Go back to the main screen. Now we're going to find the linear regression line. To do that, you go into STAT, which is right here. And we'll go to Calc and scroll down to Linear Regression. Hit Enter. Now since our independent variable is in L1 and our dependent variable is in L2, that's the default, so I don't have to put anything in here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Enter. Okay, and there is our Linear Regression line. Well, it's the slope and the y-intercept of the linear regression line. Look how it gives you the form up here. And so since a is in front of the x, that means that a would be the slope. So a is negative 1.44. And b is in the position of the y-intercept, so 107.8. Okay, so our regression line is y hat equal negative 1.44 x plus 107.8. And here's our friend, correlation coefficient as well, as well as the coefficient of determination. Alright, so we have our linear regression line, and this is our line of best fit. That's another way That's another name for it, the line of best fit. Okay, let's go ahead now and find the residuals and compute the sum of the squared residuals. Now what's nice about the TI-84, 83 and 84, is that, let me get out of here, is that it automatically computes the residuals for you. So it puts this re the residuals in a variable called resid. Now if we want to find that, the resid is actually located in this list function. So go to second stat and resid on my 83 here is right down here, number 7. And you just need to scroll down to it, or whichever calculator you have, until you find it. Go ahead and hit enter. And if we hit enter again, we're going to see our residuals, which are right there. Okay, so what this is, the 3, remember our residuals are actually just, so residual, it is what the name says it is. It's what's left over. It's the difference between the observed y's and the predicted y's. Okay, so it's the difference in that first y data value that's in L1, or I'm sorry, in L2, minus the predicted y that comes from the linear regression line. So we can go ahead, let's go ahead and check one. Um, my first value, I'm going to go back into the editor here, stat edit. Uh, my first y value, see it's 82, so let's go ahead and compute the residual for 82. Make sure it matches the 3. Okay, so our observed value is 82. 
Now our y hat, well that comes from our line of best fit. So negative 1.44x plus 107.8. So negative 1.44x plus 107.8. Now to get that, I need to put in the x value that's associated with the observed value of y. So it's associated with the 82. Now I believe, and I forgot that already, so I'm going back in, check it, it's 20. Okay, so that's the 20 associated with the 82. So I'll put that in, and then we can go ahead and compute that, negative 1.44 times 20 plus 107.8, which is 79. Okay, so our observed, our, our observed is 82, our predicted is 79, so the residual is what's left over, or 3 and that's what we got here. So you can find residuals for every one of those data values. Okay, but the calculator computes them for us, so we'll go ahead and use that. Now what we want is the sum of the squared residuals. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this function called sum. Now this sum function, this sum function is located in list as well, so go second list and it's over here in the math go down to sum hit enter and whatever we put in here it's going to add up usually a list but we want residuals and we want the residuals squared right the sum of the squared residuals so uh, I'm gonna have to call back the residuals so I'm gonna go back into second list go hit my residual and I need that squared. So sum of the squared residuals, hit enter, 67.2. So that is the sum of the squared residuals. And if you wanted to do it by hand, it would just be a matter of taking each one of these residuals, squaring them, and then adding them all up. Okay, and finally, let's go ahead and plot the data along with the least squares regression line. So, and this is not hard to do. I'm going to keep doing that. Clear. Okay, so we have our data already in, and we're going to go into our stat plot. I'm going to go into number one. Okay, and I'm going to make sure that I've hit on so that the stat plot is on. I want the very first one right there. So I highlight that. My X's are in L1, my Y's are in L2, so these are the default, and I have a mark in there. So if I go ahead and just go to Zoom, Zoom Stat, scroll down to Zoom Stat, what it's going to do, it's going to show me the best picture of that data. Okay, and I can hit the trace and now I can hop around a little bit, like here it's flashing, and that's the point 2082, that's our first observation. We can go down here to 3058 and so forth. So there's our data. Now, we should be nice if we can plot the model right on top of it, and the model is the least squares regression line. Now here's a little trick. All right, now we could go right into the Y's, and type in the negative 1.44x and all that, um, that would be fine, but here's just a little trick. You go, uh, we're going to compute the linear regression one more time, so if we go back into stat calc, go down to linear regression, and we could have done this the first time, but uh, we wouldn't have had to do it now, but uh, since we didn't, let's go ahead and do it now. So I'm going to put in my X's, which are in L1, so I hit second 1, because that's L1, comma, second 2, that tells them, 
tells the calculator where the y's are. It's in L2, comma. Now I'm going to tell it uh, what variable I want, what function I want to put uh, this uh, linear regression line into. So I want to say y1, because that's my very first y function on that list. And that's located here in VARS. See the y variables right here? And I first one is function. And I'm just going to select the top one, which is y1. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it does the same thing for me, so the output doesn't look any different. But now when I go back into y equal to see my functions, Look at that, it put the regression line right in there for me. So now I'm going to go ahead and graph this on top of my observation. So I'm going to hit graph. And there is my linear regression line, my model, right on top of my observations. And it's not a very bad model at all. So again, remember. The least squares regression line is the line of best fit. It's the line that minimizes the sum of the square errors or the sum of the square residuals. So uh, that's the best line we can choose to model our data.